Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm just going to uh, talk about uh, uh, what I'm going to be up to. Um, I basically, I bought a boat, I want to make a fishing boat. Um, I need something that's small and light and that can go on my car because I don't have a trailer licence. And uh, I'm trying to follow on from the inspiration of the uh, Americans with the John boat. So these are aluminium, really light, um, dirt rot. Two man lift on and off a car, really easy to launch. But um, you need to do so many modifications to it before you can use it. So uh, I've been searching for a long time, probably over a year, and I've picked up a boat and I picked up a load of toys to go with it. And I thought I'd do a video log and uh, show everyone what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. You know, any mistakes I might make, I'll show that as well. But um, if you just uh, keep tuning in as I post the videos, um, you'll get an idea of what we're, we're trying to achieve. So, um, this video I want to show you the boat I've got and some of the toys I've got and then later on I'm going to show you the uh, the way that I'm modifying it. So I've spent a bit of money, um, I hope you like it. So I picked up this boat, it's an 8 foot by 4 foot uh, aluminium John boat, it had rotten seats, you can see I've already taken the seats off and I've replaced them for some ply, given them paint in some waterproof paint and put some new bolts in there. Um, so that's ready to go. Uh, I had to bother about making it look pretty just yet. I just want to get it working and test it. Um, I can show you straight away. It's pretty light. You know, one hand, I can pick it up. Two man lift, I can get on a roof rack. So I've bought a roof rack for my car. I don't have a trail license and that's one of the reasons why I've had to go for a smaller boat. I don't want to, I don't want to be going through getting a trailer license. So this should be good enough for maybe two adults or you know two adults and a child to get on the river um when i bought it i didn't do too much research so i'll tell you about um some of the problems you have with getting a boat you know it's not quite as straightforward as you think and also i've got some toys that i'm going to be adding to it to make the the fishing a bit more fun and i'm hoping to be able to do you some reviews and uh you know just uh show you how i get on um so first of all um we have to think about how we're going to get it in the water and uh, the way we're going to do that is instead of a trailer we're going to get some uh, i've got some launch wheels so you can see here i've picked up some launch wheels these are quite clever so in down position you can roll it into the water and you can see i can adjust it into the back or an up position and these are simply gonna they're gonna mount mount onto the back of the boat and uh, we'll be able to just wheel it in and wheel it out. Uh, once it's off the car, I should be able to do that on my own. Um, but I need to make some um, some mountains on the inside. And in the, the next videos, I'm going to be showing how I add these. Um, I've also wanted to make it comfortable. <coughs> so I've picked up some seats. I've also got some swivels coming for these. So these are going to make it extremely comfortable. So the idea is that I've one in this position and I have one here on the front as well um, and um, hopefully there's going to be enough room and uh, enough comfort to be able to enjoy a real good day's fishing on that so we've got some some seats to mount um, obviously a bit of safety if my motor breaks down I've got I've bought an emergency arm I need to go find a mounting for that somewhere in there that extends out so if, if they run out of fuel or uh, I get stuck without a motor I can at least get to shore call for help or even get back we need an anchor I picked up an anchor, I picked that up for 99p on eBay. Um, I've got the rope for that, but uh, we need to, uh, I need to make a, a stowaway for that. I need somewhere for storage. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some storage for this. Um, I haven't decided how we're gonna do it, but I will be showing everyone how I do it and when I do it. Um, what else have we got? So I picked up an old motor. <laughs> now this isn't pretty, but it does the job. So what I've got here is I've got a British Seagull. This is actually a 1978 model, so it's older than me. Uh, it's five horsepowers, but it works really well. It's been fully serviced um, and it'll do, do the job great. Even if I can get a couple of years out of this, I picked this up for about £120 um, and uh, it should push this along very easily. Uh, I might look at getting an electric motor later, but right now um, I can't afford it. I'm trying to do this on a budget. Uh, so this is going to mount on the back of the boat, but you can see that I've got like a, a tube of aluminium at the top of the transom and it won't mount over that. So. I've got some ply boards here. I've already rebated these to bulk this out and also mount, uh, the, uh, mount the motor on the transom. Um, and I'll show you how I do that in a later video. 
And then one of the real nice touches, um, we weren't planning on this, but I was watching um, A.D. Woodchucker on his YouTube channel. If you have a look at, go over and have a look at him. He's got a real nice boat. And um, he uses one of these. This is a GPS plotter. Uh, and it's, a, it's more for the depth finding, to be honest with you. It's really hard. And my plan is to troll those. And you need to know what depth you're running in. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping that this is going to help us catch a load more fish. And I'm going to be installing this and reviewing it as well. So I'll show you how it works. And hopefully we'll get some results with this. I'm really, really excited about getting that fired up, to be honest with you. Um, it's close season now. It's March. Season closed last weekend. My plan is um, to do the build test it and have it on the water for the uh, for the start of the open season uh, which i think is june um things that i didn't realize about having a boat so i picked up the boat for about 300 quid which is a bargain you know these boats can fetch a thousand pound new um i don't know who made it somebody might be able to help me on this but um i would like to know if, if possible but um you know it's small um it's compact it should be good for the job um yeah, I'm excited to get it in the water. The things that caught me out. So, um, I didn't realise that you needed a safety certificate. The fact that it's open bottom and it's only got an outboard motor means that I can go for a safety exemption certificate. I have to apply for that. That then allows me to get insurance, which then allows me to get a licence. And the licence is going to cost me about £350 a year to put on UK fresh water. Um, different... Um, water authorities have different prices and you have to check with your local authority if you get caught without it you're going to get fined and they might take your boat off you uh, but i want to do it the right way um, i think it's a, a reasonable cost because it takes away the day ticket costs of fishing um, and uh, yeah it's one that caught me out but i'm going to go for it so hopefully by the end, uh, start of the season we'll have the build done and uh, we'll be up fishing um, i'd like you all to keep tuned and um, see how this progresses and hopefully eventually uh, we can we can get a bit of a paint job on it um, thanks for watching and uh, like and share the post and subscribe. Thank you.